Slack is a very customizable application. And if you want to customize it even more, you can go over here onto your name right here and then go on to the preferences section where you'll able to customize it according to your needs. So over here, the first uh, option that you see is notification. So here you can see that right now is set to default as notify me about all the new messages. If you want less notifications, you can go and, and select just direct messages right here or no notifications at all. So the first one is notification right here. And over here, you can allow the notification, set the notification timing and everything else. You can go onto the sidebar settings as well, and you can show uh, in the sidebar all the unread messages, maybe all the direct messages here, all the mentions and reacts. And you can also go around and source the files and you can see that there's the change right here. So if I were to disable it, you can see that the file browser enables and disables. You can go around, enable people, apps, you can show channel browser, and you can simply enable everything or all unread as well. So all of the, them are available right over here. You can also sort them by most recent or alphabetically, the channels right here and channels alphabetically and direct messages by recent activity maybe. So you can work around and set this around according to what you want. You can also work with different themes. So right now the light theme is chosen. Uh, I can also go around with the dark theme if I want to from right over here. So light or dark, you can the right now the sync with OS settings is turned on. But if I were to turn this off and choose dark, you can see that I get to the darker version of Slack now. So I'm just going to choose light because that is what I'm going to stick to. I'm going to sync with OS settings. You can also select separate color schemes right here. So say for example, this is the default purple one. You want to go for this type of a theme or this type of a theme. You can just select out the one that you like and the one that you prefer. I'm just going to go around with the default. On the messes and media, you have a clean or compact theme right here. So there's clean theme or you want compact so that everything is joined together if you want to see a lot of things at the same time. So there's different options for this one as well. And you got the language settings right here as well. So you can set the time zone according to what you want and just like that or set it automatically and choose the language of your choice. So you can go around to Spaniel right here and you can see that everything changes out just like that. So I don't understand this language. So I'm just going to change it back to English US. There's different accessibility settings as well. So right now it's 100% so I can increase out the font size right over here by uh, changing out the size of the application as well, just like that. You can also allow animated images and emojis or turn it off completely right over here. Market red, red options, so start me when I left off and so forth. You have these options as well. And then you got advanced options like code options right over here. So there's especially a lot of things. You can also exclude uh, channels from particular sets. Let's say, for example, you don't want to set from uh, the public channel, then you can just go around. And then what happens is that that channel, the public channel won't show up when you set for things right here. And you can also choose download location. So by default, it's in download. So if I want to change it out and then go on to desktop and select all the downloads there, then what happens is that all the files downloaded will be downloaded in the desktop folder now. So similarly, you got a lot of options right here. And that is how you can set up preferences to uh, set the application work as you desire it to inside of Slack. So hope you guys learned something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share, and subscribe.